Hi, this is Robert from Iron, and in this video tutorial I would like to show you a technique for generating heat haze effects on candle flames, like this one, using Fusion's own particle system. So we start by tracking the sequence to get the motion data of the candle flame, and in the next step we create the particle system itself by adding particle emitter, particle renderer, setting the particle renderer to 16-bit float to support negative color values. In the first step, we change the um, size and the position of the emitting region to fit the candle flame. And hitting play while viewing the particle renderer, you can see the particles are generated in this region. Adding a particle directional force will cause the particles to fly upwards. A bit too fast, so let's decrease the strength a bit. And since the candle flame is already lit, let's increase the pre-generate frames value in the particle renderer. So let's go on and change some properties in the particle emitter itself. In this case number, number variance, lifespan and lifespan variance to bring in more structure in the particle system. Change the style to point cluster, increase the size, size variance as well, to cr get a more smoky characteristics of the system. And change the size over the particle's lifetime. In the next step, I add a particle turbulence tool to create a more smoky characteristic of the particle system, decreasing x and y strength, setting z strength to zero, and increase the density of the noise pattern used by the particle turbulence tool. Looks pretty well. Later, I want to use the particle colors to control the effect of a displacement tool. And so let's change the particle colors using a particle custom tool in this case, and make the color dependent on its ID. And I use the modulo by 2 operator to make 50% of the particles red and the other 50% green. And for the blue channel, I use uh, the absolute value of the velocity of the particles. Since I want to displace in both directions per each axis, I multiply red and green values by 2 and subtracting them with 1. So in play, this is our particle system. Red, green, the velocity information and the alpha information. So the next step is to um, do something with that. In this case, um, by blurring the rendered result of the particle render tool, like here. And since we want to scale the displacement values using the particle velocity, we are multiplying the red and green channel with the blue channel. And in the next step, we're adding a displace tool. setting it to x and y, and the red channel now controls the displacement on the x-axis and the green channel controls the displacement on the y-axis. And so we have a pretty well-working heat haze effect on top of our candle flame. In the next step I add a blur tool to make the background behind uh, the displace effect a bit more blurrier by controlling the effect of the blur tool using the blue channel of our rendered and blurred particle system. Increasing the blur size a bit. A bit too strong, maybe. And yeah. I don't want to see too much of the uh, displace effect inside the candle flame, so um, I use a bitmap mask um to key out the candle flame in the background footage. Let's choose a good channel for that. Uh, luminance should work. Increasing the contrast a bit and 
use a polygon mask to mask out all the other highlights in the background footage. Select it to multiply and connect the output of the polygon mask to the mask input of the displace tool. And since I want to see the effect outside the mask, I have to change the uh, apply mask inverted value in the radioactive tab of the displace tool. Adding another polygon mask to fade in the effect outside the candle flame, like this one. It looks good. And in the last step, I want to connect the motion of the particle plate um, using the unsteady position of the tracking data. So I use a transform tool to do that and connect the center point to the unsteady position of the tracker. So that's it. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time.